Ching Che Tsung was born in a royal family in 1831. He was born and raised in Han Song, the name of Seoul in Joseon era. His great great grandfather was the 21st king of Joseon dynasty. However, as a royal relative, he grew up poorly and insecurely. When he was young, his father, brother, and other family members were accused of treason repeatedly. The family was exiled to Kangwado Island. He had lived there in a thatched house as a farmer for several years, and only received very low level of education. At the age of 18, he was not yet able to read. In late Joseon Dynasty, Korea was in political chaos. Various royal families were competing for power. The most influential one was the Andong Kim clan, who produced several queens in the dynasty. In 1849, the 24th king Han Zhong died without an heir. The Andong Kim clan saw it as an opportunity to last their influence in court. After a long search, they spotted Cha Zhong, who was a distant royal relative and grew up as an uneducated farmer. Therefore, he could be manipulated very easily. In the same year, the Queen Dowager Song Won appointed Cha Zhong as her adopted child and the 25th king of Joseon dynasty. Two years later, King Cha Zhong was arranged to marry the daughter of a key figure in the Andong Kim clan. She was Cho Lin. Queen Cho Lin was from the Andong Kim clan family, but she didn't get involved in politics. She was born in 1837 in Hanson. She was quiet and seldom expressed her emotions. In palace, Queen Cho Lin had a close relationship with the Queen Dowager Song Won as they were also from the Andong Kim clan. The Queen Dowager adored her because she was frugal and obedient to customs. When the Queen Dowager fell sick, Chuan would also take care of her for the whole night. After Chek Tsung took the throne, because he was never trained as a king, the Queen Dowager Song Won served as a regent at the beginning. After three years of regency, Cha Zhong began to govern actively and determined to reform. He attempted to strengthen the royal guard and to attack the corrupted officials. However, the real power still belonged to the Andong Kim clan. Therefore, despite his effort, his reform could not be carried out successfully. Cha Zhong soon realized he had very little power in hand. He got no choice but to remain a puppet king. To continuously maintain the power, the Andong Kim clan intentionally let him drink and womanize. As a result, his health condition began to deteriorate. King Cha Zhong and Queen Cho Lin also didn't get along very well. While the queen grew up in a prominent family, the king grew up in poverty and was an illiterate farmer. Legend said when he was banished to Kanghuado Island, he met his first love, Bong Yi. After becoming the king, he insisted to bring her to the palace, but then she was poisoned and died. After the marriage, Queen Cho Lin didn't get pregnant anytime soon. When King Cha Zhong became interested in drinking and women, he ignored the queen frequently. It was only after many years they finally got a child, a prince, in 1858. Unfortunately, the child died in less than one year after birth. After ruling the country for 13 years, King Cha Tsung died at only 33 years old after suffering from illnesses for two years. The king had no heir left. He once had five sons and one daughter but they all died as babies. Only one princess lived until 14 years old. After the death of Cha Zhong, Go Zhong was appointed to be the new king. In the reign of Go Zhong, Queen Cha Lin had lived peacefully for 15 years and died of tuberculosis at 42 years old. She received the Grand Queen title 
and was buried next to Chatsung in Yeru, the last royal tomb of Joseon dynasty. King Chatsung is notorious for not ruling the country properly and creating widespread discontent among the people. But in fact, even though he wanted to make changes, he did not have the real power. Under the strong influence of Andong Kim clan, his every decision was involuntary. Mm -hmm.